Hello everyone in the land of YouTube, this is Joshism's 2 pesos. I just wanted to share with everyone that I finally finished my plumbing for my UNS 5N Rimless Aquarium. I've been neglecting this little guy for a long time because I've been working on the cabinet for my UNS 120U Rimless Aquarium. I installed the reactor before the filter so that it would have negative pressure. In other words, the filter's water pump will be sucking the CO2 out of the tube versus installing it after the filter, which will be pushing water into the CO2 equipment. In theory, I wouldn't need a check valve because of the negative pressure. All check valves will need to be replaced eventually anyways, regardless of how good it is. I do this because I'm trying to avoid the risk of water getting into my CO2 equipment. Some people online have two arguments against installing the CO2 reactor before the filter. The first one is that the CO2 will destroy the filter due to the impeller running dry. The second is the CO2 will lower the pH, which will kill the beneficial bacteria inside the filter. So far I have not heard any air enter my Phoenix PX360 canister filter which leads me to believe that there will be no damage to the filter's impeller. Now to address the second problem concerning the beneficial bacteria inside the canister filter dying off due to the CO2 pH being too low. I doubt that the pH will be low enough to kill them off because the water entering from the aquarium has CO2 as well. Obviously, it will have less CO2 than the water inside the reactor. All this is purely theoretical, as far as I know.